today we've got a lot of questions about people asking, how are you guys doing this? Like, how are you guys packing the Jeep? How, what do you guys do? How does it work? So we're going to show you how we load the Jeep basically is what we're going to do. So as you can see, the Jeep is, well, it has boys in it. So it's not empty. It has the most precious cargo in the whole wide world. All right. So this is all the gear. This is the kennel, stroller, all the stuff. Okay. So we're going to walk through all of this stuff as we start loading things and packing things and why we have certain things. All right. All right. So first thing when we talk about what we're doing is this box here is the, is the foundation piece. We put all the gear inside of this box on the stuff that we know we're going to be using. Okay. So for example, like the homeschool stuff is this bag here. This is all homeschool and records. Okay. And this thing is, this thing is pretty heavy. This is probably 15 pounds. And what we do with this is we kind of go vertical with it a little bit to get it in here. And then this is the Noah's Mark Foundation record. So these are the homeschool and all the records and stuff that we need along the march. Okay. And then this is Noah's backup insulin, needles, um, test strips, all the medical stuff. There's a first aid kit. These are all the stuff that in case we need to grab and go. That's this bag here. Of course, we've got alternate weather bag. So if it gets cold, fleeces, um, you know, windbreakers, and then this guy here is a um, rain jacket. And then this is an extra pack for camelback or gear or whatever. So right now, because next week is gonna be really good weather, we're not really concerned about that part of it. We're actually in really, really good shape as far as where the weather is going. Um, so this is an air mattress. Very, very critical. And because this job box has an angle, that's one of the first things we put in here. So you remember how to put this in here? Put it up against the wall as fast as best you can like that. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's good, right there, okay. And then there's the tent. So put the tent over there by it, and then there's a sleeping bag that goes next to it. And then this is pajamas. So this is a quick thing. So all we do is we take this whole bag, everybody can change their clothes, and they get in and out. This is a burrito bag. So. Um, what the burrito bag does for us is it allows us to have changes of clothes. So you can the see. Faster, right? So as you can see, there's everybody's got a, a burrito. There's five changes of clothes in here. So basically, what we do is everybody has five outfits: the one we have on, and four other ones in these burritos. We're actually doing laundry, so we have two burritos here. So. So basically how this works is we put them in here and then we stop somewhere for the night. We grab the toiletry bag, a towel, a burrito, and that's it in the pajamas. So we just grab a handful of things, go into a place, do whatever we're going to do, and then we come back out. There's not a lot of other things we need to carry with us in and out. And that substantially reduces uh, time trying to pack and unpack. These are the homeschool supplies. Um, so the sleeping bag goes up against the back seat in the Jeep. And then the towels, because you always want to have different types of towels. Who knows what's going on? Angela sometimes has an accident, sometimes like all kinds of really super cool stuff happens. So just depends on what we need the towels for and how we need them. And then we put this backup toiletry bag right on top of it. And this has got all the toiletries and everything we need for the journey. And then we've got secondary pairs of shoes. So for example, like I have sandals and boots. Noah's got flip flops, which he's not wearing at the moment in his shoes. John has two pairs of shoes because he got some weird thing on his foot. Angela's shoes are inside the Jeep. 
Um, this is a pack that I wear sometimes, depending on what's going on. And inside of here, I have two Camelback pouches. One for this backpack, and one for that other yellow pack. So depending on how much water, how hot it is, or whatever's going on, we'll pack whatever we need for the day. Um, most of the time we'll put it in the stroller, but sometimes if it's just me and Noah and we don't have the stroller, what I'll do is I'll load up this pack and I'll put it underneath the apron. So this goes over with the stroller stuff so that if I gotta run and grab stuff on the fly, it's a much easier process. And then, of course, we have the bibs. So the bibs, the hats, the sunglasses. Now, these things um, have come in really, really handy. So Noah likes to wear the sock. Noah was wearing the handkerchief. I've now inherited the handkerchief. And that keeps the sun off your neck. You're not wearing sunscreen all the time. Some of the sunscreen stuff works for us and some of it doesn't. So it depends on um, you know what's going on and how we're doing it. Of course, you've got water and you want the cap of the water on it. And then this is a, uh, a bag that has the food and snacks and stuff. So one of the things that Jack Fussell introduced us to is a jet uh, boil. And we'll do an explain, explanation of what it is, but basically this container boils water and Noah can now have his rice on the fly. So we put two cups of water and a cup of rice and this will boil up his rice in about 20 minutes and then he can have rice anywhere. We don't need to find any place or anything. So Noah still has a somewhat of a fickle diet. Um, he likes to try certain things and there's days that he doesn't want to try stuff. So we've got to make sure we feed him because it's a lot of energy that gets put out there. Um, this is the, the, the bag that I carry his kid in. It goes on the stroller. We'll do another video explaining how we set the stroller up and why we do, what the decisions we make on how we bring certain things. It's just in the food bag right now um, because I've got the stroller collapsed. And then, of course, we've got other gear. So, um, Bob Gear was nice enough to give us oops, these little reflector things, which are super cool. Angela likes to call this her secret weapon because and then away you go. Um, the other thing that we have is um, safety vests, Knox gear, this lights up for nighttime, and then we've got half lights, which are these little lights, and then we've got little types of things that you can't really see because it's way daylight. We'll do another video at night. We try not to go in the rain, we try not to go at night, but sometimes things just happen. Um, this bag sometimes, this bag is prepped for us to go with, so things like uh, a tire pump, um, a patch kit, so you got patch kit, tire pressure, things like that for the stroller in case things go down, uh, backup sunglasses, um, fleece, things like that that we just take with us. This is a bag that typically we'll put them on the bottom of the stroller. So that's that's the gear. So you're going to see us pack this out here in a minute on how we actually pack the, the Jeep out. And don't forget your uh, um, computer bag. And then the last component is the computer bag with all this, you know, the laptop and, and that type of gear. Um, we take with us and then the camera equipment that we're using so right now we're using a Sony and we're using a Nikon the Nikon is the, the D750 and I'm using a Sennheiser microphone uh, for this part of it we have a Rode microphone that we use um, sometimes if it's really really windy this is an awesome little handy mic I know it's big and bulky but this is an awesome handy mic for wind. And then we just got um, from my good buddy the Sony action cams. So Paul Kohler gave us these action cams. I don't know where I put them in here. Oh, they're in the. They're, so the Sony action cams. We're going to try these out. They have image stabilization, which was something that I really wanted to try out. So, and then we have GoPro. So we're, we're kind of testing the two to see which ones work better for us right now. Um, so 
to the Sony, like we're really excited to try these out. I've never had these. So we have three of these Sonys with the different water mounts and things like that. And then we've got the old school GoPro, but it doesn't have the screen. So it's hard to tell what we're, what we're recording, what we're not recording. So I'm gonna try a couple of these. Uh, of course, the selfie stick. Uh, we've got two tripods. You can see I'm mic'd up on here. Um, we've got a couple of different accessories, like we got a, a head mount, uh, we got a chest cam, we've got a head cam, so we've got some different mounts for that gear. I'm very excited about playing with some of the stuff. Um, the other camera we just got was called a Theta. So what this is, this is a 360 cam, and it's a little guy. So the Theta um, we just got from Paul Kohler, so we're really excited. This is the Rico Theta, it does a 360 cam. Uh, we're really excited to play with this guy. We just got this, we did a, a test in, in Florida with it. And then the other workhorse that's been really awesome is the Osmo. So the Osmo is a workhorse. We really enjoy it. It's great image stabilization. It fits in this little handy case and we have a tripod for it. So we really like this piece of gear. We had a Phantom 3, but uh, my business partner at Know My Town needed it. And so the Phantom 3 is now with Paul on different shoots. And we'll be end up getting, we're not sure what we'll end up getting right now. I really want a Phantom 4 Pro, um, but the Mavic might be a, We'll see. I'd rather just go with the 4 Pro. I think that's just the, the camera that we need to have. But uh, we'll play with that and we'll see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this off now. I'm going to pull this stuff kind of back out and we're going to time lapse on what this looks like packing. What do you think? <laughs>